Hi, my name is Nikki Parsons. I'm the Senior Director of Systems Engineering at Akamai Technologies. So there was a recent security breach that exposed camera footage of private companies over the internet. There was a company that actually sells this as a service, which is security cameras, that was breached. What happened is there was a server that was actually holding user credentials, login information that was directly exposed to the internet. So once that was actually kind of penetrated or, or hacked, there was no additional hacking that was required. So the hackers actually were able to obtain access by penetrating a Jenkins server that was directly exposed to the internet that had all of the login credential information that they needed. After that box was actually penetrated, there was no additional hacking required. So in terms of breaches, this one was actually pretty unsophisticated. Yes, this is bound to happen again. There was nothing sophisticated about this. It's nothing special. There's a ton of devices out there that are connected to the internet. There's a few different things that should be taken into account. The first one is really focused on your internal process and ensuring that you have something that reviews software technology tools that you're looking to bring into your environment or if you're looking to use someone that's hosted. And actually reviewing that and ensuring that it's in line with your own company policy what do they do? What information about your services do they store? So on and so forth. And then making decisions about whether you would want to implement that technology and how it gets implemented into your organization. In addition to that, it's key to keep things as segmented as possible. So when we think about IoT devices, ensuring there is segmentation between IoT devices and your corporate network. The third thing is really kind of taking into account this zero trust approach. And so when we think about zero trust, it's really moving away access based on who you say you are or what you believe that you're entitled to, but really focused on, you know, kind of eliminating passwords, what rights to what applications that you should have, and then getting those implemented continuously at the edge. First of all, simplicity. Simplicity is key. Identification. Identify who are your, what are your applications, who are your users of those applications, and then limiting access, as well as adding authorization that matches up users to the applications that they need to use and where they need to use them from. Akamai does that by using its own technology called Enterprise Application Access, also known as EAA.